Arch Linux, upgrade the kernel. So we're going to show you how you can upgrade the kernel on Arch Linux. So first, let's check what we currently have. Uname dash R, and we have 6.13.5. And if you look in the boot directory, this is the kernel right here. Now, if you, if you want to upgrade to the latest and greatest, this is super easy. So the real answer, if you just want the newest kernel that is available from the repos, you can just run sudo pacman dash capital S Y U. So basically just update your system, update everything on your system and your kernel is going to be updated as well. So it basically takes care of everything updates grub for you too. So any case, um, if you only, we're not going to run that. We're, we're going to actually show you something a little bit more interesting. We're going to show you how you can upgrade only the kernel. So if you just want to upgrade the kernel, you can run sudo pacman dash s linux um, linux headers. So this will just do the kernel. So let's run this. And you'll notice, first thing you're going to notice is that the, the package for the kernel is up to date. So we already have the latest and greatest. So all this is going to do is reinstall it. But if there were a newer kernel, it would install that one instead. So we're going to go ahead with this just to show you, you know, how you would do this. And then I'm going to show you after this, I'm going to show you how you would install the uh, long term support kernel after this. All right. So there we go. So we basically got it reinstalled. So you'll know um, still that one kernel there. And it's going to be the same version. So nothing changed yet. So that would be a newer kernel version if uh, we were behind. So in any case, if we want to actually try installing a different kernel version, there's another thing you can do. You can install the long-term support kernel. So sudo pacman dash s linux lts and linux lts headers. So we're just going to go ahead and um, install the long-term support kernel. And this will actually change the kernel. It's going to be a slightly older kernel. Um, so we're, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can do that. So just hit enter and it shows you it's going to install these packages. Just hit enter again. And there we go. All right. And there we go. We have now installed the Linux long-term support. Uh, so let's see. Let's take a quick look inside our boot directory. So here you notice this is the kernel that we had before. And this is a slightly older kernel LTS right there. So let's go ahead and um, but before we actually reboot into this, I'm going to show you another thing. Now, if you're using any, any um, kernel module, any DKMS kernel modules, um, you would need to run um, DKMS auto install. You're going to need to update those. Now, currently, I don't even have the DKMS tool installed on this system. So if I run this, it's just going to say command not found. So it's not something I need to do. But if I did have this tool, tool installed and I, I did have any modules installed, I would need to update those modules. So, um, yeah, we're worth being aware of. And let's see. So it so the package manager, so Pac-Man will update Grub for you. It's done automatically. So there's there's like a trigger for that. But um, you know, a lot of times people just recommend doing this manually, anyways. So I say run Grub MK config um, dash o boot Grub Grub dot cfg, and I, th I think you can also just use the update Grub command. But in any case, we're using this right now. So we're going to go ahead and update grub and there you go. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, reboot the system and see that it comes up with a different kernel version. Now, remember that we are on, we are on 6.13.5. So let's reboot. And uh, yeah, if you're, you, you can also run these as root if you don't feel like using sudo or you don't have it configured on your system. So we have rebooted the system and we're going to wait for it to come back so that we can reconnect to it. And you, you could also monitor this in a console or if you're running, you're upgrading this direct, if you're running Arch, you're probably running it on a machine you have physical access to. But if not, you could monitor on a console or you could just live life on the edge like I am and just wait until it comes back over SSH. And there we go. Looks like it's back relatively quick. This is on a VM. So now we're going to run uname-r 
and you will see that we now have 6, 12, 18. So previously we had 6, 13, 5. Now we are on 6, 12, 18 LTS. So we've downgraded a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Now the, the easy way to uh if you want to switch back to the to the long to the newest kernel and not have this older kernel version, you can uh you, you can basically uninstall this package and then update grub again and reboot and that will get you back to the to the current um kernel. Now uh one one thing I have found out is that basically when you run update grub, it basically reads in the kernel the kernels that you have here, basically anything starting with VM Linux, it will read in every file with this name, whether it's a valid kernel or not, and it will make a big list of kernels, and then it sorts them, and then it creates boot entries for them. It basically just sorts the, the entries and creates a boot entry, <clears throat> I believe in like alphabetical order, but in any case, um, that, that's what Grub is doing there. So <clears throat> and let, you could either choose to um, edit your Grub config manually, <clears throat> or you could choose to uh, just remove this version. So those are, you could just remove this version, then update Grub again. Um, e either way, um, are, those are different ways of controlling which kernel boots. Um, currently, if you reboot this on a on a terminal or um, you know through a console where you get to see like the BIOS and everything, you and um, you know come up to Grub before the system is accessible with SSH, you'll see an option in Grub to uh, boot with, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be able to select the different versions of the kernel that are available on the system. So you'll see this is the default boot entry, but there would be another boot entry for VM for your old kernel right here. And that's about it. That's that's basically how you upgrade a kernel on Arch Linux. So hopefully you found this useful or interesting. Might want to give me a thumbs up, but also hit that, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our other great content. Do a lot of Linux stuff and a lot of other stuff like electronics, Raspberry Pis, robots, networking, hardware, software, lots of good stuff. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.